In this video, we're going to look at reasons why you should be using tables for your data sets in Microsoft Excel. Before I get to those reasons, though, I want to show you how to convert a range on your sheet to a table. Now, a few things to keep in mind. You want your column headers to be unique, so no duplicate headers. You also want to have continuous data. So you can see I have a data set of orders. And some of these orders get discounts, others do not. But even the ones that do not get a discount, I still populate those with a value of zero rather than leaving the cells empty. This will just prevent problems later on when we try to insert formulas in this table. So to convert this range to a table, I have multiple options. I can hit the keyboard shortcut control and the letter T, or I can go up to the insert ribbon and click on table. As soon as I do that, this dialog box will appear, create table. It will select that range. You want to make sure that this box is checked. My table has headers. Click OK. There is the table. Now, this table design box will appear up on the far right of the ribbons. You can come over here and select different design options. So maybe we'll try this one. So reason number one for using tables, the ease and ability to add formulated columns within the table. So in this example, I want to add a net order amount column that calculates the discount and subtracts it from the original order amount. So I'm going to add a column called net. You can see as soon as I add that header, it automatically incorporates this column into the table. So I'm going to take the order amount column and subtract it. And within parentheses, I'm going to reference the order amount column again and multiply it by the discount. As soon as I hit enter, it not only adds the formula, but it fills it all the way down automatically to all of the cells below. The second reason you should be using tables is the ability of the table to automatically format any new records that get added. So you can see here the order amount and net amount columns are formatted as currency and the discount column is formatted in percentages. So if I have a file like this one here where the data is not formatted and I want to add the records to this existing table, I can simply drop them in the first blank row directly below the last cell of the table and it's automatically going to format those new records in the same format. In addition, it's going to automatically calculate this calculated net column. The third reason tables are so useful is the ease of sorting and filtering the data. So you can see when the table got added, each column automatically has a filter to it. And I can click on any one of these column filters and sort by any of these columns. So if I wanted to sort by the sales rep who took the order, I can do that. If I want to filter on any of these reps, I can do that as well. The final benefit of using tables, and in my opinion, the best, is how you can reference tables and table columns within formulas that are outside of the table. So in this final example, I want to perform a sum if to get net sales from the table based on each of these sales reps. So I just want to get totals by each of these sales reps. So one thing I do want to do before we input our formula is click back in the table. I'm going to go to the table design ribbon. Over on the far 
left, there is the table name. Now Excel gives it a generic table and a number. I'm going to change this to something more useful like orders. So now we can begin our sum if. The first input is our criteria range. So since we have a table, I'm going to start typing orders. And there it is. I'm going to select it, hit tab to fill the rest in. Now to get to the sales rep column, I'm going to add an opening bracket. As soon as I do that, all of the columns automatically appear. I can just simply select the column I want, add a closing bracket, and that is my range reference. So now we have the criteria for that column, which is the value in this cell here. And then we have finally our sum range. So that again is just going to be our orders table. I'm going to add an opening bracket again. Select the net column, closing bracket, closing parentheses. And we have our total by this sales rep. So the other thing that's beneficial about this is if any new records get added, these formulas will automatically pick that up. So if I add another entry for Max White, and this time I'm going to add a humongous dollar amount, just so you can see this formula will automatically pick it up as soon as I hit enter you can see it automatically captures that. So that is a great benefit of tables in Excel. Well, that is all for now. Thanks for watching.